So this is a short instructional video of how I converted this gasoline mower to electric drive. I did this project about three years ago when I wanted to, to try, try out for a first project. This is a very simple conversion, the simplest type. It has a battery a brushed DC motor and a contactor. That's the basic setup. As this is a hydrostatic drive, we don't need any speed controller or anything like that because I can just set the speed with the hydrostatic drive. So I have batteries that I, I bought a Nissan Leaf battery pack and disassemble it for batteries. I have 14 of these cells in total. We have 10 here. And then I have also hid four here in the back compartment of the mower for a total of 14 cells. About five kilowatt hours usable capacity when I don't fully discharge the batteries. So the batteries, they are all, always two parallel batteries going in series, as you can see here. So we have the positive side, goes through a fuse. From the fuse, it continues to an safety switch on the outside. The safety switch goes to this contactor and from there straight to the engine. On the negative side we have a cable going all the way to the back to get those four cells also in series. And then it's coming back through the current shunt and to the negative side of the motor. The battery's nominal voltage is 53.2 volts, but f when I charge it, I charge it to 57 and I discharge it down to about 50 volts. So the total pack is 6.16 kilowatt hours, but I only use about 5.3 kilowatt hours maximum. I don't have any battery management at all here. So I have taken all individual cell measurements through, a, through here to this box. So here I can measure all individual cell voltages and also do manual balancing if it would be needed. But three years ago I bottom balanced this pack and I haven't touched it since. It's perfectly in balance still. The motor is a Mott Energy 1004. It's a brushed DC motor that has the shaft like a Briggs & Stratton machine. So I just had to make a adapter plate for mounting the motor and all the belt pulleys and the rest were plug and play. So it's a really decent option. This motor is rated 200 amps continuous and 400 amps peak. And it's a, it's a good fit for this type of application as even mowing doesn't go up to the 200 amps. Usually stays under 150 amps on the safe side. What I also have here is an auxiliary circuit. So we have from the 48 volts that we use here I have a DC-DC converter here inside that powers a auxiliary relay that is controlled from the ignition key. So let's see. When I power this on, I only Power the auxiliary circuit first. 
So here we have a Chinese voltage meter, <laughs> missing one digit, but also also I have a Victron meter that measures voltage, current, capacity, everything you can get from this one. As you see from the cutout, I have tried some Chinese cheaper meters before, but they, they just don't hold up. So now with the auxiliary circuit powered on, I only need to, to twist the key to start the engine. So this was a short video, hopefully someone got something out of it, maybe inspired to make an own conversion. If you like this, I might make a small video about some of my other projects someday. This was just a bad idea, but it works. And now, now it's time to make, make room here for the next electrification project. So, thank you.